Our next speaker is a perfect example of how technology can help us unleash our potential. His story is one of innovation and determination. Please welcome my new friend, Ezra Freck. Hey, we day! I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm nine years old. I play guitar and I write songs. And my favorite classes are science and music. And I love books by Matt Christopher. I'm also a pretty good athlete. No, really I am. Is it hard to believe because of this? I may not look like an athlete, but that's because you've never seen me in action. I could be the next Usain Bolt, a young Russell Wilson. <laughs> or a future Paralympian. And it's in part because of technology and innovation. If I was born 50 years ago, I wouldn't be able to run the 100 yard dash, whole national track and field records. or be the starting quarterback for my football team. I may not have even been able to be on the We Day stage, but I'm getting ahead of myself. As you can see, I have some very visible differences. I was born without my left knee and shin bone, and I only had one finger on my left hand. Every day I face new challenges in dealing with my disability. I break legs and feet frequently, and I get really bad skin rashes on my left leg that leave me on crutches. And my body is constantly stressed, and my back sore from being on a prosthetic all day. In spite of all that, modern technology and innovations have improved my life dramatically. <laughs> Let's start with the surgery. When I was two, I had my lower leg amputated and my big toe transplanted to my left hand. It took 15 hours of surgery under a microscope. <coughs> the doctors had to attach nerves smaller than the width of hair and they had to connect arteries, tendons, muscles, all so that my new finger could work. But when they were done, it changed everything. I didn't just gain a thumb, I gained a second finger. Think about how much you use your thumb. Without it, you wouldn't be able to pick up a pencil or throw a ball. My new, my, with my new thumb, my hand went from 10% to 80% functionality overnight. Now let's talk about my legs. I'm willing to bet that most of you guys still have the legs you were born with, right? The most likely you asked you the rest of your life. Well, I've gone through about 20 legs now. Every time I grow an inch, I need to get a new one. But they're not just getting taller, they're getting smarter too. My legs started out as plaster molds before I moved on to a simple hinge knee and a carbon fiber foot. Picture me with a peg leg and you get the idea. I definitely would have made the track and field team with one. The leg I have now, it's a curved flex foot. Some people call it a blade runner, but I call it my cheetah leg. And it works almost like a spring so that the energy that I push down on it, it is returned to me and it help me jump. The cheetah is the fastest land animal on earth and I, with this leg, I was able to set seven national records. But I'm even more excited for what comes next. They're designing prosthetics that will be controlled by people's thoughts, and they can feel things the same way your arms and legs can. 
and when I'm a little older, I'll get a leg with a computer built right in that will learn how to walk and prevent me from falling and allow me to walk downstairs much easier. There's not much left that I can do, and it's all thanks to technology and innovation. Thank you, Wee Day.